hey, Jerry, just what's this, you know, week and a half finally getting practice with new coaches, new system, and what, what's all working so far, and how has it been without having that spring to kind of learn all this, you know, in person? Well, the good thing about it is I would never be here in the spring anyway, so it's kind of normal for me to come over and learn a playbook and during the summer, so, uh, but it's been good. It's been really good. Uh, I like our concepts and what we got designed for our players, and uh, I think it's going to be an exciting year for our offense. All right, we'll, we'll try David Johnson again. Yeah, Jerry, on if, uh, if you could, can you describe how your role has changed in this offense, if it's changed any, where you're lining up at, and just the different things you're being asked to do? Uh, my role hasn't really changed. I mean, the the objective is just get our playmakers the ball in space, and uh, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our playmakers the ball in space, and uh, that's what that's the coach's plan for me is just to get the give me the ball in space and uh, give me the best, put me in the best position to go out and make plays. All right, we're good, Neil. You're muted, Neil. I'll put it up differently. Sorry. What did you know about Lane Kiffin when he got the job? And then when you started, I'm curious if you heard some of the Reggie Bush comparisons that were made between you and him. And what did you know about his role in USC's offense back in the day? Because I know you were pretty young back then. Uh, Reggie was a – Reggie is one of my favorite players when I was growing up. So I try to mimic Reggie a lot. I mean – we kind of got the same type, similar builds, same playing style. And so uh, so knowing that Coach Kiffin was there with him and he was also at Alabama with Kenyon Drake and all of them, TJ Yeldon and all of them, I mean, it was exciting to see that. I mean, he knows what he's doing. And he also got, a, got us a position coach who knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what – how football is played and what we need to do to be the best group in the country. All right, we'll go to you, Parrish. Jerry, I know you guys have been back and working out a long time and have kind of adjusted to the virus, but what was it like uh, putting pads on and, and having contact for the first time um, in, in these changing times? Uh, it was exciting. It was, I was excited to be back. Uh, for most players, they normally have the spring, and so – they would put pads on in the spring, so everybody was kind of on my schedule now, me and JR's schedule. So, I mean, it was great. It was great to be out. I mean, everybody was flying around. Everybody was just excited to be in pads. I mean, it's the first time we've been in pads since the school, wherever they at. I don't even want to talk about them no more. I don't even want to think about that game. But uh, that was the last time we had on pads, and, and it was just fun and exciting to just have them on again. We saw you do a lot of things in the offense last year, running and catching. What, what's where, where do you want to get better? Uh, I want to improve as a blocker. Uh, I want to be more consistent, more consistent with my runs, so to speak. Uh, I left a lot of jars out there last year, and I just want to take full advantage of everything that the defense gives me. How did you leave yards on the table last year? Was that – not being physical enough or missing a read or, or where, where did you leave those, those plays? Uh, I'm not setting up the defenders how I want to set them up. And uh, just instead of having the linebacker far over to the right, he would be still playing play side instead of over pursuing. It's just things like that. It's just moving around pieces. It's kind of like I'm playing chess with them now. <laughs> I want to move them one way and do the opposite kind of. All right, we'll go to Joe Cook. Hey, how you doing, Jerry? On uh, Joe Cook from 16 WAPT down in Jackson. Um, I noticed you've been kind of the go-to guy for these inspirational quotes and in these uh, videos. I wanted to know, um, have you been reading a lot recently? Uh, where's all this deep knowledge coming from? And you know, how is it to kind of be seen as a uh, you know the guy to speak positivity right now? <laughs> uh, well. I like to say uh, every day on earth is a good day, so why not be positive? And so uh, that's what I live by, and that's what I try to go out and do. But I have those little daily motivations that pop up on my phone. And so 
sometimes I, I get a lot of knowledge from there and and it just helps me to play calm and to not get overstressed by the things that are surrounding me. It's just always teaching me to just stay in the present. All right, Nick, go ahead. Jerrion, from your vantage point, what's different about the defense this year? How are those guys looking from when you're going up against them? Oh, they're flying out. They're flying around. Uh, today, especially, they was really they was really flying around, and, and they really – they're moving better, I would say that. The defense are – I feel like they're in the right positions that they need to be in. And so that's a good thing to see. And I mean, I mean, we just got athletic guys out there now that can run – fly around and get to the football and that's and that's what a defense is supposed to be all right we'll go to james hey jerry on um so we, we heard some stuff about some injuries and and possible coronavirus cases in defensive back room how's the running back room looking right now in terms of health and also performance uh everyone's fully healthy everybody's performing at a high level right now we just gotta keep being consistent with it day in and day out Okay, uh, Joe, back to you. Yeah, uh, uh, Jerry, on I wanted to know, like, how are you, uh, you know, staying focused and staying humble uh, during uh, as you gear up for the season? Because you've been getting a lot of preseason accolades and a lot of expectations. And I, like you said before, you have a lot of things you want to improve on. But how are you just staying focused on the task at hand? Because uh, it's preseason. I look at it as it's preseason. It don't matter what what happens in preseason. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. So I can start out on the preseason list, but if I don't end up there, it does me no good. David? I think you're muted or cutting out. Oh, okay. There, <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Jerry, I'm wondering you seeing specifically out of the two true freshmen, Henry Parrish and Kentrell Bullock. They're looking really, really good. Um, they're both down. They both get into the play playbook. Uh, they're both starting to pick up on it a lot and a lot more. They're getting better each and every day. And that's all you can ask for. They're both two really explosive guys, guys who could not – who have natural running ability, who has the ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. I mean, they just – they got the whole package. Now it's just a matter of getting it right, setting the pieces right. And that goes with everybody in the room. Everybody just have to get the pieces right, get everything all together. And we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're going to get there very, very soon. We're really, really close. All right, we'll go to Nick. Talk about it a little bit of not playing baseball for most of the spring. What was it like for you to have a season off for, I assume, the first time in your life? It's been a, a long time. I'll say about de a little over a decade since I've had that long of a break. So personally, I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. I mean, just work out and go home and just watch TV all day. I mean, that was perfectly fine with me for like four or five months. That's a blessing. A lot of people looking at this as a curse. No, that was a blessing for me. Got my time, got my body time to heal and you know get back to 100% because I've never been 100%. Year in and year out, I've never been 100%. This is the close to 100% I've ever been. I feel great, ready to play. Hey, Neil, we'll go back to you. Um, along those lines, Jerry, was there any point this summer where you thought, Hey, maybe this football season isn't going to happen. I know these are years that you've looked forward to and that kind of thing. And there was a lot of talk at late July, early August that, you know, football might not happen. A couple of the big leagues pulled out. What was that like for you? Uh, we're the SEC. We love our football and we're going to play football no matter what. So I wasn't really worried about the season ending or the, us counseling. I mean, because any way it goes, I still got to work. If we have a season or not, I still got to go out and perform and train. So, I mean, it, was, it wasn't going to change anything for me if we have a season or not. I still got to go out and train, no matter what. So nothing changes for me if we have a season or not. Still got to go out. 
Okay, Lord. perish. I'm sorry, Jane. You got it. Hey, Jerry, on we we're seeing uh, Ole Miss send out these uh, infographics on Twitter of miles per hour and all the fast guys. Uh, a lot of different guys up there. You've been on their course. Well, what do you think when you see those things? Y'all, y'all get excited. Is it a competition to see who's going to be the fastest on those graphics? Uh, of course, everything is a competition, especially when we out there on the field. Everything is a competition. Uh, we all know who the fastest guy on the team is now. There's no ill fans or butts about it now. Who is that? Uh, this guy. <laughs> Thanks. I love messing with JR about that, though. <laughs> <laughs>